When a large star exhausts its fuel and nuclear fusion can no longer take place, the outward pressure begins to drop, gravity takes over, and over a few seconds, the star begins to collapse in on itself, resulting in an immense explosion known as a supernova. If the now dead star has enough mass, it will continue to collapse crushing even atoms until it has formed a singularity. A singularity is a point of infinite density and zero volume. Surrounding the singularity is a spherical boundary known as an event horizon. Anything, even light that passes this boundary, cannot escape. This is what we call a black hole. Black holes grow in size and mass by absorbing matter. The size of a black hole is measured by what is known as its Schwarzschild radius. Simply put, this is the distance from the center of the black hole to the event horizon. So now that we know how black holes are formed and that they can grow in size, how big can they get? Let's explore some real black holes, the largest we know to exist in our universe. The M33 central black hole is not classified as a supermassive black hole and will be the smallest black hole you will see in this video. I'm showing you this black hole as a reference so that we will be able to make visual comparisons with the larger black holes. That being said, it still has 50,000 times more mass than our own sun and has a Schwarzschild diameter of about 300,000 kilometers. Calculations and observations show that black holes of this size with accretion disks tend to look like this. This beast of a black hole is located in the center of the NGC 6166 galaxy, which is 490 million light years away. It has 30 billion times more mass than our own sun and we've detected two symmetric radio jets being emitted in opposite directions. These jets are the result of the infall of gas into its center. NGC 6166 has shown a blue shift, which means that it is moving towards us. This monster of a black hole is estimated to be 10.8 billion years old and is located in the constellation of Canis Venatici. With 66 billion times the mass of our sun, a system diameter of 20 light years and a Schwarzschild diameter of 390 billion kilometers, its accretion disk is thought to be thick and it emits two large radio jets in opposite directions. If you were to compare Earth to Ton 618, you could fit 26 billion trillion Earths into Ton 618. As enormous as this black hole is, it pales in comparison to the largest black hole that we have ever known. The largest black hole that's ever been known to exist. This is the Phoenix A central black hole. With an estimated mass of 100 billion times that of our sun, this gargantuan black hole is 50% more massive than Ton 618. It has an approximate system diameter of 30 light years and a Schwarzschild diameter of 590 billion kilometers. 
is this the largest black hole in our universe? Most probably not, but it's the largest one that we know is out there. Ultimately, black holes are truly a fascinating topic in physics, and we are still learning more about them every day. As the tools and instruments we use to observe the universe become more advanced, we'll be able to discover more about black holes. However, Will there ever be a day when we find out what's at the center of a black hole? Let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.